In this video, I will be teaching you how to add slow motion to your game clips using a free software called DaVinci Resolve. I will be showing you three different ways to do this. Let us begin. I will have the software and the link in the description below if you do not already have this software. As I said, it is free. So here I've already dragged my video clips into the software. Wherever you recorded them, go to that folder and locate them and then just drag and drop into the timeline. This is the timeline. Sometimes when you open the software, it is starting in the cut tab. Just go over to the edit tab uh, before you go ahead and drop those in. If you have a clip like this that is a smaller portion of a larger video, you will need to first right click it and make it a new compound clip. You can name it whatever you would like, click create. Go ahead and locate the portion of the video that you would like the slow motion to be applied to. You can use the arrow keys on the keyboard, go one frame at a time, whether reverse, which is use the left arrow key, or forward, the right arrow key, to locate when the shot, locate when the shot is fired. You're going to want to right click the clip and choose three time controls. This is the first way to add slow motion. Then you will want to left click this down arrow and then add a speed point. This is going to mark a beginning of a speed change. Then you're going to want to left click this line here and drag it to the point when you would like the speed to go back to the normal speed. Then you would left click this and click add speed point. From here, move this out of the way, all you would have to do is left click on this white line and just drag it out. And you notice down here, percent has gone to 50%. So it has caused this portion of the clip to be 50% speed and therefore slow motion. The second way to add slow motion to your game clip is accessed by right clicking the clip you'd like to apply the slow motion to and go up to retime curve left click that then left click the retime frame drop down arrow go ahead and uncheck retime frame make sure retime speed is checked then left click the red line make sure it says retime speed Once it's selected, find the point in the clip you would like to begin the slow motion. This is the spot we'd like this slow motion to begin. Go ahead and click this diamond to add a speed point. Perhaps click play. Stop where you'd like the slow motion to stop. Go ahead and add another speed point. Go ahead and zoom in this again holding alt and using your scroll wheel now what you can do is just draw then what you can do is just drag this middle portion down you notice it stretches this out because it's speed is slowing therefore the clip is becoming slow motion and the duration of this portion of the clip is increased and if you notice underneath the retime speed, it shows the percentage of the speed decrease. 50% is usually a good speed. Make it a little smoother from normal speed to slow motion. Select the dot here, the speed point, and click this box here. Makes it an S curve. It smooths that transition from normal speed to slow motion. Check the clip out. Yeah. If you like a little slower, go ahead and drag this down. You 
preserve the integrity of the clip to have it look uh, good quality, not advised to go uh, too low. Yeah, that was a six night, bro. The third way to add slow motion to game clips is going to be the easiest. Go ahead and find the point in the video that you would like to add the slow motion to. And this tool right here is the clip tool. We're going to divide the clip here. And then scroll to you find where you want the slow motion to end. Go ahead and divide the clip there. Now go ahead and select the selector tool. Hold down left click on the portion it's going to be slow motion. Go ahead and drag it up for now. Now right click this clip and go to change clip speed. Here you can go ahead and type in, double click the box and type in 40%, 50%. Make sure to have ripple sequence checked because this automatically extends the clip where it needs to be. You can go ahead and drag it back down to place. Drag the video larger. We can see how it looks here. Yeah, that was a sick. This method is much quicker than the other ones, but the transition from normal speed to slow motion isn't as nice as the other methods. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if there's anything in particular you would want to see, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Hey, also, by the way, I do stream every Friday and Saturday evening on Twitch, 10 p.m. Central to about 1 a.m. If you want to catch me capturing these clips live, or if you have any uh, questions, go ahead and hop in on those times. And uh, I'll see you in the chat. Peace.